Hi guys, this is Stephanie from Grove Green Homestead. I'm I'm gonna try to do a whole garden tour. I'll see how far I can get on this video. But for this box, this is just my kale that I planted. I started from seed a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month or so ago. They're starting to pick up on size. Some of them are. Um, I thinned some out and um, hopefully the rest will catch up. I've been fertilizing them with the um, 511 fertilizer and the other banana water mixture that I have in my rain barrel. So here I have some herbs going to seed things parsley. Some of my other oregano is in there and my sage is so small it overwinter but anyway here's my swiss chard uh it's still small i plan on separating it and thinning it out moving some of these over to the other side of the fence as soon as the things that i did plant come through the soil uh as you can see right here that's where the dino kale was I'm probably going to pull out the curly kale. I'm not too crazy about that. I just wanted to see how it did. I might thin it out and stretch it across here, and I might not. But I will be keeping the thousand head kale for the winter to overwinter. Or I might start some more. I'm not sure. I'm going to just see how I can do with that and see how far I can get. And, of course, you guys see... I have tomato plants that I planted in the corners there I need to get a trellis or something they're producing my aromas I'm kind of disappointed with my tomato plants that I purchased from Lowe's for the Roma and the salsa tomatoes they're not doing as well as I like for them to do but I'll show you whenever I get there we I had aphid issues on them so I've been treating it and trying to take off the dead leaves and stuff like that and it just it just has my plants looking horrible so the kale that I moved from this area I moved over to this box with the rest of the kale in this little section so I tried to separate it as much as possible so they can have space to grow they're skinny and spindly because they were all packed and crowded together so hopefully they'll strengthen up and bulk up like these over here over here is my brussels sprouts goodness they're getting a little bulky they're still not producing any any brussels sprout seeds the purple ones are not doing anything I got some dead leaves on there the green ones are about the same you can see the little nodules but it's nothing forming so I'm not sure what the issue is if there's an issue like I said I, I purchased these from I think Lowe's as well so who knows I'll leave the leaves on for a little bit longer and see how it does okay I gotta get on the other side okay so this is my tomato box of course those over there and the one back there they're falling over because they're growing and I don't have any more tomato cages but this here is the beefsteak they're doing pretty good I'm happy with this more than these down here these are the plants that had the aphid issue really bad and it's struggling because I've been trying to, you know, keep the dead leaves picked off. And now it just looks all spindly. And I did get rid of some of the plants on the back side where you see that opening back through there. Um, I have eggplant coming. I'm not sure how big that's going to get. I think there's supposed to be like black beauties or something like that. Um, I do have tomatoes coming. I think these are like the salsa tomatoes coming. This plant is so big it's falling over. Um, I still haven't found anything to prop it up with. But as you can see, these over here, things have been eating my tomatoes, these birds. 
So, I mean, they're ready. They're falling off the plant. I can use these in my um, pasta salad that I made yesterday. And just, you know, just pick them off and just rinse them and toss them in my pasta salad. So, I have okra growing. And I have a bug issue. I see. Like I have every year. I'll show it to you in a minute. But I do have the red okra growing. Let's see if I can get down in here in the canopy. I have the green. That's the Clemson spineless. I forgot the name of the red one. Um, but I do see one little okra that is definitely ready to pull. I need to come pull that one. And this issue, which is so disgusting. Do you see that, guys? Ugh. I have this issue every year, and I think I need to come out and spray. Because they're taking over all of my flowers. These ants and aphids. But overall, it's doing good. I need to just treat that. My bell peppers. This was my, uh, actually, I don't remember what this plant is, but it's very, um, space hogging. It's a flower. I just don't remember which flower it was. But I am collecting the seeds. I'm letting it go to seed and I'm trying to let them dry out before I pull them off. That one's about ready. I'm dried out. It just got finished pouring rain. So, um, I have bell pepper, bell peppers coming. I picked jalapenos yesterday. I have these little, um, chilies that I'm going to use as pepper sauce in the pepper sauce for, um, seasoning for our foods. That's what my husband wanted, so I'm getting it for him. Um, here's a jalapeno. They grow fast because this one wasn't on here yesterday. So, that's my peppers. Um, here is my bean trellis, my pole bean trellis. Now, we just picked these two days ago. And we still have beans still coming. And I'm try I, we have to come out here this evening and pick these. This will be our third or fourth bag of beans. I have some bush beans there. They have the white flowers. I did have some with purple flowers. I'm quite not quite sure um, where those are. Uh, these are the uh, red flowers. And we have tons of beans. They're just, this is exactly how I wanted my trellis to be. Where the beans are just hanging. <laughs> Let me show you all these flowers on here. So we're um, into June, close to the end of June 2020. And these flowers are just like coming out of the woodwork. I'm not sure if you can see all that. But we're about to have a ton of beans. Anyway, so let me move on before my camera runs out of space. Down here in this box, this was supposed to be my citrus box, but I was growing collard greens in here at one point in time, and it went to seed. And this is the seed that fell and grew. As you can see, there's another one right there that's growing. Um, this is a citrus, uh, no, a lime tree that I purchased last year from Home Depot, and that's a citrus, um, a citrange, orange tree that I purchased uh, when I went home. So I didn't think they were going to come back, but they have, and I'm very happy for that. This here is an olive tree. Uh, I like olives, so that's why I planted it. Hopefully it does well. These are all in the ground. They're not sitting in, just in this box, I dug past the black paper, and so there the roots will be in ground, and eventually I will dig around this box and just have the plants just sitting there. 
this area my pool area is a mess the grass is taken over as you can see I have moved the tomato plants from out of this um, pool to the other side of the fence that's over there hopefully my camera lasts long enough for you guys to see that if not look at part two but I have some small okra coming on these as you can see in the middle of the uh, screen they're not doing well but they're growing so I'm torn whether or not I should move these or just leave them there but they're so small I might I might move them but here I planted some cantaloupe seeds and I'm just gonna let the grass grow it'll probably help keep the the fruit that's growing a little um, cooler but I do have one little let's see if I can get some light in there one little uh, fruit that is setting <laughs> so I'm very happy with it and of course y'all know I don't like sticking my hands and stuff because it could be something in there that I don't want to touch like a snake so I'm just letting it do its thing and let it run where it wants to run I'm gonna try to keep it inside of this you can't even see it because the grass is like so high I'm gonna let it try to run inside of this frame let it go all the way around as far as it wants because we have to cut grass and weedy and I don't want to be cutting the vines that tomato plant poor thing I don't think I will be doing this pool project next year for one the pools too shallow even with the little um the little foundation in there it's it's just too shallow it's not enough dirt um if the foundation wasn't in there then it'll be flooded with water i do have holes in all these pools so i'm constantly battling um the dryness versus the thinness of the soil okay moving on to my christmas lima beans this plant is doing very well very very well of course i have it in these pools and it's probably doing okay because they're behind these sunflowers and the sun's not constantly beating on them but look at these beans they're forming and they have grown very fast in that last video i showed you beans that were probably about this size <laughs> and now they're like three three four inches long and I'm gonna have plenty it's even growing some growing up the trellis some right there I have another 